Human Rights In this module, you will learn about human rights. Human rights refer to the right of every person to live a dignified life without facing any discrimination on the basis of religion, gender, caste, race or country. Every individual gets human rights from birth. Neither the government nor any organization or individual has the authority to take away these rights. Human rights are universal in nature. Some of the most important human rights include the right to live, the freedom of thought, expression and religion, the right to acquire nationality, the right of protection against arrest and detention, the right to education. The right to live means the right to live with dignity. It implies the fulfillment of all basic needs as well as having an environment conducive to one's development. A person can develop his personality only if he or she can think freely and has the freedom to express it. Every individual is a rational being, thus he or she must have the freedom of thought and expression. The freedom of practicing a religion based on one's choice is also very important. The right to acquire nationality is the right of an individual to get the status of a citizen in his or her country. As a rightful citizen, an individual gets the political rights to vote and contest elections. He or she also gets an opportunity to participate in the affairs of the country. To arrest or detain anyone without a proper reason is considered against human rights. Every country must have a proper legal and judicial system to preserve this human right. Education helps to dispel the ignorance of the individual. It provides opportunities for development. Education creates a will to fight against injustice and exploitation. The United Nations has given an important place to human rights in its objective. The dissemination and publicity of human rights is one of its important objectives. On 10 December 1948, the United Nations proclaimed the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and laid the foundation for these rights. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights consists of 30 articles. All member countries of the United Nations are expected to give these rights to their people. Some of the important articles in this declaration include the following. Entitlement of rights without any distinction on the basis of gender, religion, race, etc. Right to freedom of movement. Right to seek asylum right to own property, freedom of thought and religion, freedom of association, right to vote, right to work and leisure, right to primary education, arts and literature, freedom of occupation, right to keep one's personal life and dignity from encroachment, A number of voluntary organizations such as Amnesty International and Human Rights have been set up across the world to nurture human rights and preserve human rights. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights was proclaimed when the Indian Constitution was being drafted. The human rights came to be included in the fundamental rights and directive principles of the state policy of the Constitution of India. India has devised many methods for the protection of human rights. In 1993, National Human Rights Commission or NHRC was established. The NHRC includes six members and a chairman. 
A retired judge or in service of the Supreme Court or High Court is appointed as the chairperson of the commission. The chairpersons of the National Commission for Minorities and National Commission for Women are also members of the commission. Two experts who have worked in the field of protecting human rights are also included as members of the commission. The National Human Rights Commission primarily investigates into cases of violation of human rights anywhere in the country. The important function of this commission is the protection of human rights. The state of Maharashtra has also established a Human Rights Commission. Let us now recap all the important points that we have covered in this module on human rights.